Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to another video. This is a reaction to top 10 conspiracy theories that turned out to be true. Um, I'm sorry, it's another Watch Mojo video. I do apologise, but... My audio's been so loud. But, um... Yeah, it's, it's all I can do. It just popped up as well, so it's a very new video. And I do enjoy this kind of topic. So we're going to just see, I guess, in this video what theories are in this. And, I mean, yeah, hopefully you're going to enjoy. Links are in the description to my Patreon if you want to see some more reactions of mine. And yeah, let's just jump into this video. He had a blank, blank look in his eye. He didn't know who we were. He didn't know we were his daughters. Welcome to Watch I wonder Mojo. if I know and any of these. And today we'll be counting down our picks for the top some, conspiracy right? theories that turned out. Let me think of a conspiracy theory that turned out to be true, a big one. See, I just, I just watched Icarus, so I'm I'm instantly thinking about sports, doping, and cycling and stuff. But does that really a conspiracy theory? I don't know. I can't really think of any, to be honest. What conspiracy theories can I not think about? I literally, my my brain's at a fart. About to be true. Oh, there's the president sitting there signing a document. <laughs> what the heck were we worried about? For this list, we'll be going over the strangest and most famous conspiracy in like theories sports. That Oh, well, I'm looking at baseball, then I guess the whole steroid stuff or whatever in baseball, no? But actually, conspiracy facts. Is there a theory you once I mean, believed that you now realize was a load of baloney? Tell us in the comments. Number 10, Roswell cover-up. In the summer of 1947, an is. object crashed down to Earth in Roswell, New Mexico. Theories that it was an alien spacecraft have pervaded pop culture for over a half a century since. Everybody oh, thinks that Roswell was the first sighting of a, of a UFO in the United States, and that bull roar. The U.S. Air Force claimed that the object was merely a weather balloon, only added fuel to the fire, uh. and the conspiracy theorists were right. It was no weather balloon, and there was a cover. Damn. But it wasn't an alien ship either, probably. The object was a high-altitude balloon launched as part of Project Mogul. These balloons were intended to detect sound waves from Soviet atomic bomb tests. During the Cold War, the U.S. military couldn't exactly be honest about that thing. in the papers. Now, whether you think that's another cover story, well... This better not be another damn Russian spy job. Number nine, Big Tobacco's Big Lie. There's extensive... I'm gonna get... I mean, I'm assuming based off this, it's to do with the fact that they used to think smoking was good for you, didn't they? When it was sort of a popular... I just say popular, it's popular now. But there was a point in time when it... I guess when it, they first... People first started smoking or whatever. When did smoking actually first begin? I'm, I'm, I'm saying tobacco. Let's just say in the 90s. It was seen as healthy. And I don't know how that was the case, but then I guess obviously they realised it wasn't. That's my guess about this one. The use of this technology, which is called ammonia chemistry, that allows for nicotine to be more rapidly absorbed in the lung and therefore affect the brain and central nervous system. Smoking causes lung cancer and a lot of other adverse health effects. Scientists demonstrated this definitively in the 1950s. However, public opinion wavered for decades, with sources springing up to generate controversy and debate. Some suspected that the tobacco industry was suppressing and distorting the facts through a coordinated campaign, they and it eventually came did. out that they were. Yep. Together, the world's largest tobacco companies initiated Operation Berkshire to generate fake controversy and debate. Big Bruh. Tobacco knew that smoking caused cancer and that nicotine was addictive. They decided not to make cigarettes less harmful because addiction made them a lot of money. Now, the work we did wow. here is confidential, not for public scrutiny, any more than our one's family matters. You're threatening my family now, too. Just go they hid it from people. That is wild. If it happened in the current day, I can't imagine the... the flipping... not scandals, but, like... The company's probably finished. I mean, if you're hiding this stuff away from people, you know it for a fact it's bad, and... You're hiding it from people, then I'm sh I don't know what would happen, but that company's probably folding, no? Going into bankruptcy and everything. Goes to show where there's smoke, there's often fire. See but how it... oh, oh, camels sorry. agree with your throat. See how mild and good tasting a cigarette can be. Number eight. It's crazy how they they thought it was flipping good for you, man. It's wild. The White Sox through the World Series. The Chicago White Sox are on record for having one of the longest droughts between winning World Series at 87 years. However, they weren't always known for their bad luck. Back in the late 1910s, the Sox won in 1917, Long time and ago. they even had a wonder like Shoeless Joe Jackson on the team. 
Yet, rumors during the 1919 series held that the games were fixed. The White Sox lost the series, but the rumors persisted into the next year. Eventually, a grand jury found evidence that eight players, including Jackson, though his role is disputed, were involved in a conspiracy to receive money in exchange for throwing the series. Oh, I think damn. the Black Sox players saw a high reward for what they were doing. They could make as much as their yearly salary in one week uh, for fixing the World Series. While a um, trial found them not guilty, they were nevertheless banned from the league permanently. I cannot imagine how much bribery has gone on in sports history, especially in the early days, because they weren't paid a lot. Whatever sport you think about, they weren't paid at all. Like, they were, I think. But in the early days, it wasn't good money, was it? It was like, probably not even as much as the average salary. It was probably even less. So in these days, bribery must have happened loads because you're getting this sum of money. You're like, bro, I need that to like support myself. So yeah, I can't imagine, to be honest, a lot of the history of a lot of sports will probably have a lot of, like, it's obviously probably a lot of things that went on in the past that maybe it would have been different if they weren't bribed or something. I don't know, but that's just, that, that's a conspiracy in my mind, but... I Number be against seven, it. nefarious bet, bet against agents it. infiltrated the government. The Church of Scientology is infamously touchy about any criticism of their organization. Get out! I, I didn't mean anything by it. I don't even know L. Ron Hubbard. I, I... Their influence over celebrities is well known, but theories about their influence over the government are also out there. And here's the thing. Scientologists really did infiltrate the government. In the 1970s, at least 5,000 members of the organization conducted espionage on government agencies and private organizations. And this wasn't a fringe element either. The founder's wife, Mary Sue Hubbard, pleaded guilty and went to prison. It was one of the largest scale infiltrations of the US government in history. Damn. All of this was done with the aim of destroying evidence that painted Scientology in an unfavorable light. It arguably had quite the opposite effect. Boy. Those Scientologists, they can be pretty sensitive. Number six, the <laughs> FBI spied on political activists. All power to all the yeah, that's people. not a surprise. Those involved in political protests and other activist causes are often paranoid that they're being watched. And they should be, because it's happened before and it can happen again. Tapes from the hotel rooms, FBI reports, Don't those are pieces of information that we shouldn't have. From the late 50s to the early 70s, the FBI engaged in illegal Seems surveillance, horrible. infiltration, and disruption of protest movements and other organizations deemed subversive. He realized how sick this country was. We were trying to reveal the truth about segregation. These ranged from independence movements to civil rights movements to feminist organizations. They even had John Lennon, the former Beatles frontman, under watch. While this program, named COINTELPRO, was abolished in 1971, others may have taken its place. This represents the darkest part of the Bureau's history. Number five, the first female U.S. president. While the United States has yet to elect a woman to the office of president, by electoral college anyway, some theorize that a woman has assumed the duties of the office already. In 1919, President Woodrow Wilson suffered a debilitating stroke. This left him bedridden and partially paralyzed with some impaired judgment. Says if I don't help him be president, what a kind of wife am I? For over a year, Wilson's Sorry. wife Edith aided him in governing the country to the point where she was basically performing his job in all but name. The degree of her involvement was kept a close secret and Wilson herself denied that she made executive decisions until her death. So he's like sitting there and they like move his arm and then they just release that to the press and that's how dumb people were back then. Number four, <laughs> the government is spying on you. The common refrain for cranks and conspiracy nuts for decades has been Free your the phone government camera. is watching Ooh. our every move. And it's not completely wrong. With the rise of smartphones and the internet, the government Isn't has it, unprecedented... It's through like knowing where your location is, because even if you put like, you don't want it to track your location, it will still track it kind of thing. ...and access to information on its citizens. They're following us. In the wake of 9-11, the Bush administration initiated far-reaching mass surveillance programs, both foreign and domestic. The NSA's activities in the years since have included sucking up and storing online history, emails, metadata, text messages, you name it. Edward Snowden revealed a lot of this info with his leaks, Edward including Snowden. how other governments were also implicated. Even if you send it to somebody within the United States, 
your wholly domestic communication between you and your wife can go from New York to London and back and get caught up in the database. And he, after he said that, he's now in hiding, no? I, I swear, in the series I watched Icarus, he was mentioned and I searched it up and he's in like flipping Russia now. he done the opposite as the Doctor did in the series, in the documentary. He's now in Russia, in Witsek or whatever. Do you believe that in the time since, governments have just given up? Number three. It's crazy how he had to do that after revealing the truth though, isn't it? Because they're obviously seeing it as like a bad thing to release or whatever but it's just it just further proves his point now that you're so like that about, about what he's saying it's sort of like it's causing you to, to go the, to these lengths to try and stop him from talking or whatever false justification for war in august 1964 the uss maddox fired a warning shot as three north vietnamese torpedo boats approached the gulf of tonkin after the torpedo boats opened fire the maddox sank all three Two days later, the report of a second attack prompted President Lyndon B. Johnson to authorize further military action in Vietnam. For years, people questioned this justification. At one point, the commander of the ship said, we're not certain of the attack. Another point, they said, yes, we're absolutely positive. And then finally, late in the day, Admiral Sharp said, yes, we're certain it happened. It was eventually revealed that the second attack was imaginary, based on wrongly interpreted imaginary. communications intercepts. It wasn't Bruh. the last dubious rationale for war. In 1990, George H.W. Bush leveraged false testimony crafted by a public relations firm to initiate the Gulf War. Over a decade later, his son would falsely claim that Iraq possessed WMDs to justify an invasion. The people of the United States and our friends and allies will not live at the mercy of an outlaw regime that threatens the peace with weapons of mass murder. Number two. Watergate scandal. Perhaps the most well-known political conspiracy of all time, the Watergate scandal was unthinkable when it occurred. Because people have got to know whether or not their president's a crook. The scandal began when Republican President Richard Nixon's administration illegally wiretapped and broke into the Democratic National Committee headquarters. We don't know who oh, ordered wow. the burglary, and we don't what? really know what the burglars were up to that night. Their aim was to acquire information about Nixon's opposition in the forthcoming election. The arrest of the perpetrators led to attempts by Nixon and his administration to cover up their involvement. However, mounting evidence and leaks soon exploded into a scandal that has become a byword for political disgrace, leading to Nixon's resignation. Ain't it crazy how he done all that to try and help himself? He ended up messing it all up for himself. It's just wild what power can do to people. It's so hard to recreate and understand now, looking back, is there was no sense that the president could lie to the American people. Things uh, have changed, Garrett. Things have changed today. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch. DIA conducted mind control experiments. The idea of a government agency trying to control people's minds might sound like science fiction, but it really happened. Prostitutes would lure men to these apartments, and then once the men were in the apartments, they were dosed with LSD, and then they were what? basically studied by CIA scientists. In the 1970s, a commission on the CIA's activities within the U.S. exposed the existence of Project MK Ultra a secret program that used drugs and torture to manipulate its victims' mental states. Kool-Aid was spiked with LSD. Kool-Aid with LSD? These experiments oh, my were days. conducted on prisoners in secret detention centers around the world, as well as within American universities, hospitals, and prisons. The CIA also funded brutal experiments involving electroconvulsive therapy in Montreal, Canada. Victims of MK Ultra included Ken Kesey and Allen Ginsberg. It's one of the darkest conspiracies out there, and we still don't know the full extent of it. Bro. Did you enjoy this video? That is wild. Um, but yeah, top 10 worst sea giant horror movies. Yeah, interesting to see. Hopefully you enjoyed this reaction. And I mean, if there's more of these videos out there, let me know. Because I'm definitely down to do some reactions to these videos, maybe from some better channels out there. But yeah, until next time, like, subscribe.